Hey guys, Metal Drummer here. So, quick talk about my progress with the WR450F. Recently decided to fix it up after it's been about a year and a half that um, it's been sitting. So, what happened the night of the um, incident was at the time the WR wasn't in really good shape, it had no fifth gear. Um, suspected because I had no cush drive and the highway K's thing that um, theory I think worked so there goes fifth gear um, and just cosmetic stuff on it hadn't had a lot of time to make it look nice so it kind of just kept deteriorating exhaust was broken you know whatever heaps of little things that don't really matter but um, the night that I was riding it that it blew up uh, so to speak it's magneto stopped working so the lights weren't working and I just thought fuck it I'm just gonna ride it anyway like stupid move but um, I just thought Dillagaff <laughs> anyway so the starter motor also that night played up so I was having a lot of trouble getting it started when I real and then I realized that the battery was flat because I'd been riding it with no magneto and all the charge had obviously been drained from running the bike but it took a while, it took over an hour before it um, started cutting out and playing up anyway I charged the battery up a bit a bit of help from people where I was riding got me to push start it, got it started again and um, and then it played up again you know just kept turning off kept cutting out um, and on its final um, little burst of energy made a huge bang sound so I don't know if that was it backfiring or what anyway my mate and I had a look at it just recently there's some shavings in where the starter motor is so the starter motor gear isn't connecting properly or whatever um, and when we go to kick start it it gets to a point where it just stops not like a seize but like a blockage or so yeah something's fucked in there so I came up with this idea of buying another bike and at first I was gonna buy like a three thousand dollar WR same model running and whatever and just put my plastics on it but then I had this great idea to just buy a shitter with a good motor and gearbox and a little bit of other bits and just from both bikes make one good bike so uh, the best decision so far has been to take the motor and gearbox out of the bike I'm buying and putting it into the WR I already own and taking anything off the other bike like it's got new grips, new bark busters, all that kind of stuff uh, take everything I can salvage off it um, to make my bike better and in the meantime I've just been working on it every night if you watch my Instagram or my Facebook you'll see a couple little videos, you know funny shit having a couple drinks and whatnot, and um, yeah working on the bike so I fixed up little things like the exhaust that has been bugging me, fixed up all the little stuff, um, just cleaning the bike up, making it nice until I um, pick up this bike which hopefully will be this weekend. I may not have a lot of time to do this engine and gearbox swap but uh, I'm doing everything I can during the week so that the bike's at least ready when I, you know, when I can do it, when I get the time I can just do it rather than have to do everything else first so yeah I'm getting a little bit OCD about it and cleaning stuff that doesn't even need to be clean like last night I was running um, what do you call it um, steel wool over all the spokes and over the rims because the rims I've got are that like polished steel kind of look but yeah, they're not polished they've just been clapped out for years by a previous owner and myself not looked after it so I decided to clean them up a bit I don't even know if they come up any good I was too fucked up to, to tell so I'll uh, work that out later um, and fix up whatever isn't good enough um, you know so that's just what I've been doing lately spend a bit of time cleaning that up and um, yeah so I thought I'd do a, a quick little video about it all uh, if you're not interested, then just fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> and if you are interested, cool, let's go for a ride. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to have heaps of videos on how to do this, how to do that. I really don't have the time. Um, I really wish I could.
but I don't have the camera cameras for it either like the audio setup I don't have all that shit I've never been into all that stuff so I like watching people that make those videos but I just don't like making them myself I'm too lazy and busy and shit so I um yeah I'll do little videos here and there as I make progress and hopefully it all goes well I'll pick up this bike this weekend and yeah go from there also just before funny enough I was um I'm just riding home from work early and I saw this guy walking down the road with a helmet and I thought hmm I could give him a lift because I got a two-seater I'm on the um, Hornet here so I um I said to him oh you want a lift and he's like ah oh, it's just up the road but yeah sure <laughs> uh, kind of weird giving a motorbike rider a lift but he had a helmet so why not he was he was gonna go pick up his bike because he got a new pipe put on or something so yeah I'll, uh, I'll add that little bit onto the end of this and um, call it at that. Just knows this dude walking down the road with a helmet. Gonna see if he needs a lift. Since I'm on a two seater and it makes sense. You need a lift? Because I'm two seater if you want a lift. Yeah? Well, I just thought I've got a two seater, I'll give you. <laughs> Give you the offer. <laughs> well, it's not very often you're gonna get that offer, are you? What was that? Oh, nice. So, which um, which bike shop? Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I know. You're on. Oh, you're light. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were still getting on. Easy as. Left here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go, man. Have a good one. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> that was interesting. Good deed for the day. <laughs> 